Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to Wind Waker HD. So last time we played hide and seek with a bunch of annoying children. We brought joy to the heart of a very strange woman. We saved a freak from jail and we got our hands on ourselves so we can actually finally sail away. Come sail away. Come sail away with me. Why do you hesitate, Sil? Oh, okay, so we need to need to ride him. Well damn broski, I'm working on it, Jesus. Gonna be, you know, moody and stuff. There we go. Okay, so I think it seems fairly basic. Basically, we just steer, and if we want to slow down, we put the sail away. I think that's all there really is to it. By the way, check out our view. How damn good does that look? God, I love this game. What the hell was that? I don't know. It's clearly important somehow. And it makes noise when I get close. Oh! But I can still hear it. Well, what the hell? I don't know. I'm guessing maybe that's like something we can dive to? But we probably don't have the ability to dive right now. Maybe it's like something we can fish, but we don't have a fishing rod. Maybe you can neither dive nor fish in this game. I have no idea. I'm just merely guessing here. But yeah. Is he gonna disappear again? Do we have to like try and get to it quickly? What the hell is up with that? I have no idea. Oh, well, screw it, I guess. Oh, I can jump on the boats. I wonder what the hell that, that, that meant by jump. It literally means you can jump. Oh, we can do like a, a cinematic camera angle. I guess that's so we can focus in on where we're going. John, focus. No one's going to get that reference, but that's okay. Nobody gets my references anyway. So I'm guessing this is where we want to go. Why do we have barrels? Well, I can jump over them. That's kind of awesome. I don't know if that achieves anything, but it is awesome. So yeah, that looks like it's probably going to be our destination. Again, this next dungeon, it's called like Dragon Roost or something like that. I've definitely done it. I believe that was where the demo started. Something like that. I don't know. It's, it's weird when they start demos not at the beginning of the game. Though I can kind of see why they would. Hello, buddy. You look like you might be a bad guy. It looks like those dudes we have beaten up. And he's also got a telescope. The hell are you doing? Hey, buddy. Duh. Yeah. Yeah. Is he dead? I just... I just broke onto some dude's raft, kicked the crap out of him, knocked him overboard, and watched him drown, and then robbed him. Link's a mean motherfucker. That's some dark shit right there. I just drive by and murder that dude. I guess I'm officially a pirate now. Okay, let's get... Oh, is that a 20? That's a 20! I want you. Yoink! Haha! -ha. I wonder what happens if we crash into the barrels. I don't know if we should actually try that. I don't know. Oh, it's another one of those things. Yeah, it disappeared again. What the hell? I have no idea what's up with that. Can we get this one? Yes, we can. I don't know why the seagull is with me. I guess, you know, just for scenery. It looks very pretty. But yeah, I do believe, like, a lot of this game is sailing around to different islands and stuff. Normally, I'm probably going to resort to cutting out and just, you know, leaving in highlights of stuff that happens along the trip. Or, you know, just cutting toward the destination if we find nothing. Oh. Ramming the barrel just makes it go in the water. Oh, we get the money anyway. So why am I jumping over it like a badass? I guess because it makes me look like a badass. It's way more fun like that. No, I have lost control. There, on the horizon. There's our destination link, Dragon Roost Island. Yeah, I definitely remember this. I remember doing the actual dungeon for Dragon Roost after this as well. So maybe this is where the demo stuff. I really don't remember. It's really confusing when they do that. It's high atop this island's peak. There's the spirit of the skies. A great dragon by the name of Valu. Going up to the spirit and sky. You must go see this dragon and request from him a jewel called Din's Pearl. I remember the name Din. Ask the people of the Rito Trap who inhabit this island about how to see the dragon. Okay. Oh, I almost forgot. Wait, just a moment. This is the Wind Waker. Roll credits. There's a baton of sorts that was used long ago when the people played music and prayer to the gods. In those days, simply using it allowed one to borrow the power of the gods, but I do not know if it still works. Even so, I thought it might be of some use to you. Perhaps you should try using it. Well, all right, then I will. First, conduct in three quarters time. Do not touch the left stick. Try to match the rhythm by tilting the right stick. Okay. 
up, down, right. So yeah, I believe playing, again, I remember doing this in the demo. I, I believe this is kind of like using the Ocarina in Ocarina of Time. Except, not as easy. Because yeah, you can see it's like a bar at the top. I think we have to line it up with the middle. Like, you know, it's a rhythm thing. And I suck at rhythm games. Very nice. That was splendid. Next is 4-4 four, four time. Hold left on the left stick to change rhythm. Okay. I'm not sure I fully understand most of this, but screw it. We're just going to go with it. Up, right, left, down. I'm screwing it up, aren't I? Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, shit. Wow, I'm really bad at this. I get the feeling this is probably going to be much easier using the, uh, the game thingy, the gamepad. And yeah, by the way, a bunch of people suggested I use the gamepad. I was going to, and then I realized it had no battery. So, frankly, we'll try next time. Because, yeah, that's the thing about it. Like, oh, why can I not get this? What the hell am I doing wrong? Son of a bitch! And I really hope you can't hear the dude next door hammer, because that is pissing me off. Like, it's shaking the house every time he does it. Stop hammering, you bastard. I'm trying to play a, a rhythm game. Oh my god, finally. That's it, Link. I was not bad for your first time using the Wind Waker. Not bad at all. Don't lie to me. I was awful. You also conduct with it in 6-4 time? You would do well to remember that. Well, you know, I'll try. You received the legendary Wind Waker. By using this magical conductor's banner, you can borrow the power of the guts. Use R to conduct. Okay, okay. We'll worry about that shit later. Okay, it's time to finally adventure. And speaking of adventuring, what the hell is this sign say? If I can read it. Wind shrine to the left, male center up. Well, naturally, they sound like two things that would go together perfectly. Wind shrine and mailing shit. I guess it kind of does make a degree of sense. Maybe, maybe the leathers get carried on the wind. I don't freaking know. I'm guessing this is going to be it over here. I almost said over there. That would have made no damn sense. Ah! Looks like we have to play something. There appears to be markings that indicate specific directions. Yeah, don't say. Okay, well, oh, okay, we can press up. So do I need to play this? Kind of looks that way. Okay, brain, don't screw it up. Up, left, right. Yes! You learn the wind's requiem. Cool! What the hell is that? Yep, that's a mighty nice breeze. I should give him a southern accent. The name's there, folks. I'm the guy to win. Okay, I can't do a southern accent. Let's not do that. So you're the new Wind Waker. Ah, oh, yeah. Great, great. For a beginner, you've got a nice wind sense about you. I like you, kid. I like you too, mysterious frogman in a cloud. A tune you just picked up, well, it gives you control of the direction the wind blows. Depending on how it's used, wind can be a good thing a very bad thing. You want an example of it being a bad thing, then you should see my brother. It sends me to say that my brother Cyclos is miffed about his monument here being broken. Now he spends his time creating cyclones to torment people with. Sounds like a bit of a dick. So if you encounter any cyclones at sea, chastise my brother for me. Will you? And that is my request to you. Okay, I think Link may be high as shit right now, because that seems like something someone would hallucinate were they having an LSD trip. It's broken. Mom, it's broken. Mom, it's broken. Sorry. So, yeah, that was very strange. And apparently his brother's making cyclones and we're supposed to, you know, chastise him. Like, no, that's a bad... What was his name? I forget. Someone was called Zephos. I think that was the frogman, the cloud. Oh, blah, yeah. I should really pay more attention. But that's a bad whatever the hell your name is. What the hell is that up there? Is that just a tree? I guess it's just a tree. That's disappointing. <laughs> I thought it was going to be something amazing. And yeah, those rocks over there, I remember those from a game. I believe this was the demo, the, I, the section I played. I am not out. But yeah, I do remember this bomb flowers on this island, and you can blow up these rocks with them. And I think you actually kind of need... Yes. You can see there's like a place there we need to blow that rock up, otherwise we can't go across. Yeah, okay. What do you say? Danger! Do not attack the explosive fruits. You know what, as much as I'd like to attack it just just for the fun of it, we should probably take that advice since again we're on hero mode. You never know when we're actually going to be able to heal. How do I place them? Maybe there's no way you can place them, but you would think there would be. Can I, can I press A? Oh, there we go. That was B, not A. 
I keep mixing around B and A, man. It's confusing the crap out of me. Yeah, give me that money. Okay, so I seem to remember there was some place on this island that you had to run with a bomb. Oh, shit, throw it. Yeah, not in the air. I seem to remember there was some way you had to run with a bomb and you could only really just about get it to the rock in time. Though I guess it's not here since these ones are plenty close enough. What's down here? Another sign. Up. Okay, what the hell's up? Ah! I do remember doing this. This is the part that I was thinking of that gives you a bunch of money, I think. Maybe I'm remembering that wrong, and I seem to remember. You may remember those hoi pairs, or whatever the hell they were called that we bought from Beetle on the boats. I believe you can use those pairs to actually control seagulls. Like, you can just straight up control it. Like, like it's you. It's very strange. Like, you possess the seagull. So, oh, looks like we can push like a block out down there or something. I don't know why that would benefit us. I have no idea. But yeah, anyway, so you can control seagulls. And I think you need to fly a seagull into that bomb, and then it sets off a chain reaction, and then you somehow get some cash from the rock up above. Something like that, I think. So again, I may be remembering wrong, but yeah, I seem to remember that there's something like that around here anyway. So let's see if we can figure out how to actually equip these damn things. Oh, I need to press R. There we go. So I have like three pairs and some junk. Yes, okay, so it is the pairs that we need for the seagulls. I think the other stuff's for like pigs and, you know, rats and whatever else. There we go. Oh shit, okay. I thought maybe it would like instantly kill the bird or some shits. We smashed into the wall, but I guess not. Where the hell am I going? It was up here, wasn't it? Yes. Okay, and... Boom, son! <laughs> That's so damn mean to the bird! Oh, we got a chest. So maybe we don't get money? Oh, we totally do! I could have sworn it just dropped the cash. Maybe that was something they tweaked in the remake, or, you know, the HD version, whatever you want to call it. The remaster. It's not really a remake. But yeah, maybe they changed it so that the cash is in a chest so you don't have to waste it. Or maybe I'm just remembering wrong. I honestly don't know. Oh, and we have another sign. Mail sign. We already know about a mail sign or a bad sign. Okay, I'm going to try and check this bomb down here, but I don't think it's going to... Well, it's going to blow that up. I don't think we were really supposed to do that, though. Nope, didn't drop a damn thing. Yeah, I think this is the part I'm remembering where you kind of have to throw the bomb very quickly, but you don't get much time to actually use it. Though I did do that first time, but then again, when I played this was... Yeah, pretty much... In fact, yeah, if it was a demo of Wind Waker, it had to be out before Wind Waker was out. So, over ten years ago. That's a long freaking time. Long... Long freaking... <laughs> but depressingly enough, I was still like 18 ten years ago, so... Really no excuse for me sucking. I can't say, oh, well, you know, I was a kid. I was probably the best at video games when I was like 12 years old. Like, you know, the best in terms of me. Oh shit. Okay, that was, uh, that was real freaking close. Okay, give me that bomb. Yeah, we go. Oh shit, almost pinned myself in. Again, I'm trying to be real careful with my hearts here. I don't know how much damage it's gonna do, but, you know, any damage at this point, just not a good idea. Okay, so what's up with this thing? Good morning! Welcome to the Island Postal Service. What do you have for delivery? I don't know. Can we use the tingle bottle, maybe? Let's give it a try. I don't really want to do the whole me-verse thing and, you know, write a letter and be like, How are you also playing Wind Waker? I don't know, it seems weird to me. <laughs> Asylum cannot be delivered. Oh. He don't like the tingle bottle. Can't say he's a blame. He did not mean to pull out my Wind Waker. It was inappropriate when you actually accidentally whip it out. I thought that was that dude's ass for a second. I was like, damn, baby got back. Link! Link, is that you? No, I'm an imposter. It is! I'm pleased to see you're okay. I must say, you've traveled far for one with no wings. I have a boat. And your sister? Is she? She did. Is that so? Well, don't worry too much. I'm sure she'll hang in there. <laughs> I have an idea, Link. Would you like to meet our chieftain? Yeah, sure, why the hell not? I've told my people here about you, and all of us retail are very concerned. I'm certain the chieftain will befriend you and lend you the aid of our airy. It's settled then. I'll fly on ahead and let everyone know you're coming. Hey, you do that. Come inside, Link. I'll be waiting. Bow chicka wow wow. I don't know if I'm saying chieftain correctly. I want to say chieftain, but I don't think that's right. I'm pretty sure it's chieftain. Or maybe it's neither. I have no bloody idea. It's one of those words I've seen it written a million times, but I've never heard it said. 
So I'm like, am I saying it right? I don't freaking know. I don't want to sound like a moron. So I think we're probably too late for that. Hey, another ruby. Okay, so that's the wind shrine down there. Okay, screw it. Let's go on inside and find out what the hell is going on. But yeah, I seem to remember there was... I don't know how the hell the demo worked. I'm sure it was like two different parts of the game. Well, have you discovered the cause of the Great Valo's anger? Someone didn't bring him his pancakes. Ah, so you are Link, are you? Quill has told me all about you. Quill, like a feather. A troubling tale indeed. I insist that you let us know if there is anything we can do to help you. We shall do everything in our power to assist you. However, in the meantime, we have a problem of our own to deal with. When you arrived on the island, did you notice the raging dragon perched atop the mountain? No, honestly. As you can see, we of the Rito tribe are profoundly connected to the sky. We make our livings on the airways. Oh, so you are like pilots. We do so by the graces of the Sky Spirit Valu. When a Rito reaches adulthood, he or she journeys to the top of Dragon Roost to receive a scale from the Great Dragon. It is this scale that enables the Rito to grow his or her wings. That's kind of cool. Recently, however, the once gentle Valu has grown violent and unpredictable. He's drinking again. Sadly, we can no longer approach him. If this continues, the fledglings who are of age will never be able to receive scales from Valu on Dragon Roost. They will remain ring wingless, and in time, our very way of life will be threatened. As Chieftain of the Rito, my first responsibility is to solve this problem. My apologies, but I must ask you to wait for our assistance until this is done. Will you do so? I guess I don't have much of a choice. Chieftain, what do you think of consulting Link with regards to your son, Prince Kamali? As you can see, Link is a gallant young lad. I feel certain that Prince Kamali would open his heart to him and speak freely of his fears and worries. Let me guess, puberty? That may be. Let me be direct. My son Kamali is of the age to earn his wings. Yet, he is weak. In some ways, and in light of the current situation, he may just give up on ever getting them. What say you? Will you share some of your courage with my son? Will you meet with my son? I thank you. We shall do our best to solve our problem as quickly as possible, so we may better help you with yours. I have something I wish for you to give to my son. Why can't you do it? A young girl named Medley is holding it for me. Would you find her and take it? Sure, I guess. I'm counting on you. Here, Link, take this with you. Who knows? It might come in handy. The down well better, otherwise, bell, right in the kisser. We got a delivery bag. Okay, Rito postman everywhere, wear them. With so many pockets, it can hold many items. So it sounds like a spores bag. You should find Medley in one of the upper rooms. Leave the great value to us. In the meanwhile, do your best to aid Prince Kamali. Away! <laughs> I love burr people, man. Okay, so the entire time I couldn't stop staring at these red things. What the hell's up with them? I guess nothing? They look like explosive crates. Also, there's something on this one. I don't really know how we get up there, though. I guess it's just letters, because, you know, they're postmans. It looks like something we can collect, though. If you want to get to Dragon Roost Kevin, I've got some bad news for you. The bridge is out. There's no way to even get inside. I'm sure you understand once you've seen it for yourself. As for swimming across, well, you need water for that. And the pond's all dried up. No need to panic, though. I'm sure the chieftain will think of something. I'm afraid I've got some bad news for you. No one, again, is going to get that reference either. As you're home, as you're off, as you're from Off Island, allow me to tell you about Dragon Roost. Even in the best of times, it's a dangerous place with all those bomb flowers growing everywhere. And now, it's even more perilous. It's so bad that the bomb flowers themselves have all dried up. The great and wonderful Valu has created quite a mess. It was the best of times, it was the blurst of times. You stupid monkey. Making a lot of references here to things that like maybe 2% of my audience might get. Hello, how's it going? Well now, I've not seen your young face before, nope. Don't believe so. That's a little creepy bunny. Hmm? You wouldn't be here in response to our posting for some part-time help, would you? Uh, sure. Oh, excellent. That's good, but first. To see if I can use you or not, I need to give you a little test. Just a small one. 
Match the seal on the envelope with the same icon on the shelf and throw the letter onto that shelf. Real easy. Simple. Okay, I think I get it. Select the shelf and press A to throw a letter. So, just matching symbols. Is that clear? Sure. Before time runs out, you have to sort at least 10 letters. Give it your best shot. Okay, it's- No! What the hell? I- You- I swear to God, my finger slits. That really sucks. I don't know if it matters that we screw one of them up. It sounds like we just need to get 10 of them. I'm- I'm kicking the crap out of this already. Good guy. Okay, well, we got 10. Okay, keep going. Just keep freaking go- Oh, shit. Okay. Gonna be fine. Gonna be just- does it really look like a flea mon- I guess it kinda does. It's a little bit different on the shelf. Yes! So go on it. Okay, I got 23. Do I get like a bonus reward or something? 23 letters! Great! Good. Terrific. You pass! Okay, you got one rupee for every two letters, and that comes to a great total of 11 rupees. Am I right? Come back anytime. I mean, anytime. The more letters you sort, the more you'll earn. Not a bad deal for both of us. I would kinda say that is a bad deal. If it was two rupees per letter, then we would have made like, you know, 46. That ain't bad. But 11, that's kind of shitty. Is there really nothing in here? God damn it. Okay, well, as tempted as I am to smash all of the pots, probably just a waste of time. Apparently, so those crates. I guess it's just a storage room. Makes sense to me. Okay, so they mentioned that Prince, the Prince's room's around here somewhere. Hey, I know you. Yeah. You're the adventurer guy, sailing from island to island. Action, excitement, right? So, with all the adventuring you do, did you happen to find a golden feather? Now, my girlfriend, she's wanted one of those things for the longest time. And actually, I kind of promised that I'd send one to her. Well, you done fucked up, buddy. You done fucked up. Oh, hello. Wow, you really do have green clothes and a strange-shaped hat. You're Link, aren't you? Oh, me? I'm an attendant to the great sky spirit. Hello, my name is Medley. Well, to tell the truth, I'm not an attendant quite yet. I'm actually still studying to be one. Oh, what am I thinking here? This is from the Chieftain. Link, he wants you to give this directly to Prince Kamali. Okay, what the hell is it? You accepted father's letter. It is a letter from a father addressed to his son. Why can't he give it to him? That's just lazy. When I, okay, take it to Kamali. I get it. Yeah, okay, delivery bag. We know, man. We know. The room way in the back on the first floor is Prince Kamali's room. You have to go down a couple of steps to get there. When you meet Prince Kamali, please don't get offended by his manner. He has no bad intentions. I promise. By the way, um, Link, listen. I have a small favor I'd like to ask of you. Could you please come to the entrance of Dragon Rose Cavern later? I'll explain everything then. Sure, why the hell not? Okay, how long have I been recording? Okay, plenty of time. Right, sit outside very quickly just so the game checkpoints properly, because otherwise I frankly don't trust it. Well, this looks cool as hell. What the hell's going on here? I don't know. Looks like it might be part of the dungeon. Anyway, next time we go speak to the prince and hopefully take on our first official dungeon of the game. I don't know, we'll see. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, it was appreciated. I like, and I'll see you next time for more Wind Waker HD.